Okay, in this video, I'm gonna walk through installing the Yubico Authenticator app. This is an application that can be a replacement for something like Google Authenticator or some of the other Authenticator apps that are out there. Some benefits to going to with the YubiKey is gonna be that uh, the Authenticator seeds that you have are gonna be portable because they'll be on the YubiKey itself. Uh, and I'm gonna show you a few benefits of it here. Um, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is go out to yubico.com and you'll find on their website under support, there's a download link. You'll click on the download links and this will bring you to the page for all the other software downloads that Yubico has. Scroll down until you find the Yubico Authenticator, click on that. And on that page, you have a lot of really good information and near the bottom, they're gonna have links for different downloads for different OS. Yubico supports uh, different OSs here for the Authenticator app. And what we're gonna do on this one is I'm gonna download from the Mac OS application store. And just go through the whole process of downloading and installing it here. Um, the benefit of doing it from the app store is you'll be able to give feedback uh, directly to Yubico uh, on how you like their application uh, and if you want to see anything in it. Um, all right, so here you have the application popping up on a screen after the install. I'm going to clear out a few screens on the window, clean up the desktop. Um, and the first thing I want to do is go ahead and add a credential. The easiest one I can think of is with Google. So I'm going to insert the key. You can see that at the bottom. And it'll pop up to say that there's no accounts. This is a brand new key. So I'm going to go and hit uh, Google Accounts to manage my accounts. And you're going to look for the Security tab. This will be either on the left or on the top. Uh, mine's on the top. And I'm going to select that and then go to Two-Step Verification. It's also going to ask you to log in with a password just as an extra security measure. We'll put the password in. And I have a couple different authentication mechanisms already enabled. Uh, I'm going to change the Authenticator app from Google uh, to my YubiKey, QR code's gonna come up and I simply press add and the Yubico application here will uh, automatically pull that QR code in, all the information and populate the, the required fields. Now you'll notice one other thing here in the application and that is the checkbox for required touch. It's not necessary, but I like to have this, uh, especially if I have a lot of one-time passcodes. Uh, what this is going to do is require you to, um, all the one-time passcodes will be uh, hidden from view with um, a uh, star. And once you require, once you want one of them, you'll double click on it and it'll ask you to touch the YubiKey. And then only the code that you clicked on will be displayed. So let me show you how that looks. Uh, so we'll go through here. We're going to click add. You'll see that I can't see the code right now. I'm gonna click next for the verification screen. I'm gonna double click. It's gonna ask me to touch the key. You'll see it blank. I touch it and the code is already in the clipboard. So all I have to do is paste it where I need it. It's a nice extra value you get for having a desktop authenticator app installed. So let's go ahead and uh, close everything out here. We're gonna test this all out on a new uh, browser window. We'll go bring in a new incognito browser. We're gonna go and log in and try to uh, validate that these codes were correct. Uh, brand new window here, log in like we did before. I'm gonna go through and you'll see a pop up for uh, different authenticators. Now I have a security key uh, set up, but that's another video. I'm gonna click cancel and say, try another way select the Google Authenticator app, come over to the app, double click on it. I'll need to touch the YubiKey, the code is printed, and then I just have to paste it in the window. Click next, and I'm in. So I've just gone through and reset my credentials to the YubiKey, so now uh, the credentials are with the YubiKey. So I'm gonna add an additional step here and if you see those three dots there, click on those and you can go to the set password. Now this is gonna add an additional layer of security to the YubiKey to where if someone 
has your YubiKey and they plug it in, they'll still need to have this passcode to be able to view any of the one-time passcodes. It's not required, but it is highly recommended uh, to put that passcode on there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put the password in, our super secret password, and click set, and then it's all done. It's uh, set on the key. We're gonna go ahead and uh, remove the key uh, go back to the default screen and this time when we plug it in we're going to get a little different user experience so the keys plugged in and it's going to ask me for that password plug that in unlock the key and now I can get to my passcodes double click on it touch the key and the code is displayed now here I'm showing it on an uh, iOS device um, this is going to be over NFC Sorry for the blurriness of the uh, webcam there on the iPhone. I'm gonna go through the normal login process for the email. And this time, I already have the Authenticator app installed um, uh, on my iPhone. Uh, again, Google Authenticator app, and uh, I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna swipe down, that will trigger the NFC read. I touch the key on the back, and it's gonna ask me for that passcode that I set up. Now, if you didn't have a passcode set up, it would automatically, at this point, start displaying you the credentials. But I'm gonna to have to touch it again to show those credentials, but first I had to touch or put that passcode in. And I'm gonna type it in. Uh, you can see it's a little bit harder from the phone to type it in, as I mistyped it, which is a problem. Uh, and I'm in. Um, so, excellent. So, uh, that was this, how to utilize the iOS device to be able to display your one-time passcodes or a desktop authenticator app. So you have a lot of versatility there. Uh, the application from Yubico is also available on uh, Windows platform uh, and Android. Uh, you get the same experience. And if you had one of the, um, the YubiKey 5CI, which has the lightning connector uh, and a USB-C connector, you can plug the key into the iOS device with this application, so uh, you don't need the NFC, and you can plug it in and get those passcodes that way as well. Um, and that's about it. Thank you very much.